Hello everyone, and welcome back to my hard career live streaming from Twitch. What you're about to see was recorded on May 31st and has been edited for YouTube. Please follow me on Twitch to get notified when I'm streaming. I'm Tyler Rays there as well. You can follow me on Twitter to find out when I'm streaming and when I post videos. I typically stream on the weekends at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. GMT, and also on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. GMT. Now on to my commentary from May 31st. Okay, so here we go again. Back in career mode. And we have to save our little jewel station, get it boosted out to jewel. So, yeah, I thought about this, and I'm pondering whether to send a Kerbal or not. Maybe we should just send a Kerbal, because then the Kerbal could do science, you know, EVAs and all that. I, I don't know. Well, this the launcher has been tested at least. That's the positive part. The downside is we might be... Let's, let's see what the mass is. Oh, oh, this hasn't been fueled up. We need it fueled up. I'm gonna unlock the Mark 1 lander can. And it's probably got enough torque. I wouldn't have to have all this. I would need some batteries. Well, I mean, it's got enough RCS fuel, that's for sure. I think it's well under the capacity of this launcher. It will transfer the necessary fuel and give us a Kerbal over there. So, who do we send? Wow, we've got... Oh, we got the tourists. Right, right, right. Well, we, we're not going to send a tourist over. The tourists can't do anything. Um, we'd probably send... I think this calls for our most experienced pilot. But then, uh, yeah, he's going to be out there forever, basically. Because we don't have a way of bringing him back right now. Yeah, I guess we'll be sending our most experienced pilot over to Jewel. Does that sound like a good idea? I'm, I'm looking for advice here, folks. So this is no longer Quick Refueler. This is... Uh, Jewel Crew 1. I'm gonna call it. Uh, getting rid of... Got getting rid of... Uh, sending out one of our pilots for this long is a dicey... Dicey idea, but... Because then we'll get additional science and there's... Theoretically no harm. Hi SG25T, uh, remember we left a... We left a jewel station in orbit around Kerbin because the launcher flipped out. And so we need to refuel that station because it it didn't have enough fuel for the transfer and in the course of that I had that station without a Kerbal in and I've decided that maybe we should send Sidri to Jewel and so chuck a small probe on it and you can send the worst Kerbal um, yeah but do I want to send the worst Kerbal? Hello Nigel yeah, Arrow, I, I don't know if I want to send the worst Kerbal. Then again, the scientists can do additional stuff. May I, uh, okay, uh, let's recover. Maybe we should send the scientists. We've got a probe on the on the jewel station. And then we can put a probe on here. But then my scientists, I really need to bring them back to get the experience. The thing about Sidri is, he's got all the experience that we could want him to have. Yeah, so, so we don't need uh, we don't need to bring Sidri back to get him all uh, shaped up in experience. Unlike any scientists we would have to send out, who'd be starting off from the beginning, we need to uh, get our scientists trained up on simpler missions in order to be able to do stuff. Sidri is basically ready to go all the way. So yeah, I think I'm just just gonna send Sidri. We'll we'll have other people. We'll we'll send a scientist and engineer out to Jewel eventually. We've got, we're putting a station up, quote unquote station after all. Okay, well this launcher better work. It's we've tested it before, but always nervous sending a Kerbal up. All right, here we go. Um, how is our situation with the station? Oh, I've got. Uh, we don't have much... What do we do? Well, no. All that electric charge is down here. Hold on. We need to... No, no. Recover. We need to put more battery power on. 
Okay, feeling a bit better. Let's let's try this. Oh, uh, music. Let me get something a little bit more. Okay, on we go. Let me wait a little bit before starting to turn. It's not exactly going fast here. Okay. And those are our boosters exploding back at the KSC. Still looking all right. Okay, that's orbit. This will be an interesting orbit to bring this down from. What percentage value do you get for recovery of the launcher? Uh, depends how close we get to the KSC, right? Uh, you're talking about uh, empty versus full on the fuel? Is that what you're talking about? I don't know exactly if that's the case. Okay, well, I think we'll just release the payload here. It'll have to make its own way up to the station. But it's going to be taking a while to do that, so let's take care of the launcher first. Well, we won't have to bring it too deep into the atmosphere. We're pretty low. So, let's say around here. Make sure we're clear of all things that could cause a mishap. And let's take it to... Let's say 35 kilometers. We... Don't have air brakes yet. We haven't unlocked those, so that's a downside. Would really like to slap those on as soon as possible. Seems a bit overshooting unless you have fuel to spare. I do have fuel to spare, but I'd have to use it pretty quickly in order to correct. I'd really like those air brakes. I'm sorry, I'm leaving it tilted like this uh, in the hope of getting a little bit more drag, actually. Probably won't try with rockets until atmospheric trajectories mod works. Yeah, trajectories mod. Uh, I I've been waiting to do reusability until they decide what aerodynamics they want to include. I mean, we know that there's going to be an aerodynamics fix coming up, and so uh, uh, I I don't want to rush and make all sorts of reusable launchers and try stuff, and then find out that they're going to change everything on me. So uh, we're a bit south of uh, the KSC. Let me see if I can deflect a bit. Okay, that's probably too much. Okay, well, how high did we do that? Oh, okay, that worked and at 36 kilometers. Yep, uh, the automatic calculators are gonna have a little bit of problem. That's probably why, uh, like, uh, what was it? Um, the arrow braking calculator hasn't been updated. That's a little bit trickier now. Trajectories works with stock arrow in 1.02. Really? I thought it said it was far only or something. Space plane is re yeah, space plane is easy. Yeah. It's just uh, putting, slapping wings on a launcher is a little bit different. Well, we're not far. We're not far. Okay, well, no point looking at map view now. We're pretty much on it. Actually, we're landing a bit short.
Well, there is that sort of mode where you have a fiery re-entry and it's countered by very calm music, right? That, that's a cinematic thing, too. As long as there's a nice beat, uh, oh, uh, that drum that's going on in this piece makes it work. A heavier drum would be even better. Anyway, uh, initial parachutes. Okay, full parachutes, gear down. It's gonna be a little bit of a slope here. We're not quite on the KSC grounds. Ah, song ended a little bit too soon though. Oh, this is one of the standard tracks, but it's not really meant for this, is it? Let's see. Well, that's dramatic. Okay, full parachute deployment. 6.6 .6 meters per second. I'm resetting SAS to vertical here. And I'll give it a little bit of thrust as we get closer. Can't quite see the ground. I'll run the engines a bit. Okay. Uh, okay. Leaning tower pizza again. Okay. We 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 got back. Uh, Ninety-seven point eight percent. Got to lock the suspension. Well, you know. Uh, actually, the whole thing would have probably collapsed if I locked this. I mean, the the legs really aren't strong enough to carry it. It really needs to descend onto the fuel tanks. I think we tested that before. Yep, with fuel to spare, not even spamming the recover button. Well, I don't want to do that. Okay, so we recovered it. We got uh, 38,000 funds back. And yep, let's go on to our intended mission. Okay, there we go. Now, should we do that immediately or wait a few rounds? I think we should just wait a few rounds and then do the plane change maneuver at the same time as boosting out. Um, we seem to be running out of electric charge, so let me turn off the lights. Wow, these, these handles are really not being very precise with me here. I'm using the middle scroll, uh, middle wheel on the, the mouse wheel, but... Uh, okay, come on, don't go so fast. Okay, there, there we go. Is this the first time I'm docking with something in this live streaming stuff? I, 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 I rescued a Kerbal around Duna, but I don't think I've actually done a docking. Uh, would you ever consider a Buran launch episode special? Um, are we talking RSS or with... Buran... The model is one thing I don't have a very good one of. I've got the CSS shuttle, but I don't have a very good Buran right now. Um, now, in in stock, I could build a Buran, but I've got my own little shuttle now in stock, which is sort of a cross between things. It's got it's got uh, good atmospheric engines as well as as well as the main engines. But uh, I mean, I've I've considered it before. I've actually tried building Buran in RSS before. That didn't work out very well in testing. Oh, there's a new Varen work in progress in the forums? I'll, I'll take a look at that. I've been waiting for it. There was an old one. Um, I forget who made it. I think it's the same person who made the... I think it was Bobcat or somebody like that who made uh, the old Varen. But... It hadn't been updated in a long time, and I don't. Uh, it wasn't RSS compatible, so that's why I didn't uh, bother with it. But you know, I, I like the idea. Um, the thing about Buran is, and this is the important thing: if we were going to uh, do an episode on it in real source, I want to bring the the 
the booster bag, the Energia. Because it's pointless to have a reusable shuttle and then not reuse the engines. The engines are the costly part. You have to reuse the boosters and Energia. So... Yeah, that's the trick. Whether that's possible or not. Here's our, our target, and uh, we better retract that solar panel. That's not going to work out very well. I can't... Oh, well, I haven't got my lights on. There we go. Oh, shoot. We're coming in... Uh, no, the other way, the other way, the other way. Well, that'll do it. Not the best docking I've ever done. Come on, come on. Well. Okay, definitely not the best docking I've ever done. Come on. Alright, there we go. Ooh, this lighting is just really not very helpful for this. Okay, that's that all full. Sidri. Let me get your lights on right away. Okay. Let go. Okay. Have I mentioned that I hate EVAs? Space is supposed to reorient you. I don't know why it's not re- uh, Just board. Okay, grab. Oh, man. Okay. You had to grab it upside down, huh? Alright, Sidri's finally in. Four star pilot, my god. Okay, anyway. That music would fit if I ran out of EVA fuel and drifted into space. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, well, forget this music. Uh, is crew transfer not yet available? Oh, oh, that ways. Well, yeah, I guess that does bust the fun a little bit. Anyway, we've done it. Yes, crew transfer is... Uh, I don't know. Is crew transfer available? When does it unlock? I don't know. Anyway, docking port toggle. Solar panel back out. But I made a mistake in not putting a probe core on that refueler. Now we can't bring it back down. Well, not great. But that, that's not a bad periapsis for a jewel encounter. Well, Sidri is going out there for an extended period of time. It's going to be a very long mission for him. Might even have to transfer him over to Val to do the Val contracts. I think that's going to be a goal. So yeah, we're going to uh, do the station and then transfer him over to Val. So, Sidri will be orbiting Val for an extended period of time. That should be pretty accurate, let's see. Parts are not very elastic. <laughs> That's the way of putting it. Using RCS here, of course. Oh, we're coming in like that. I don't think there's any easy way right now. Well, okay, that, that works. Oh, heck, we'll just correct the rest of it when we get there. Yeah, let me just go with this, and then we'll correct the rest of it when we get to Jewel SOI. Um, you tried the lifter idea with one main sail and four largest SRBs. And the skipper on the second had sent 32 tons to LKO. What, how, how heavy were... I guess we, we were sending about the same. Uh, were we sending... We were sending less. We were sending less. Hard to fly though. Well, if it was hard to fly at all, you know I was I had to have trouble with it uh, during a live stream. We saw that yesterday. Two orange tanks for the main <laughs> sail and one for the skipper. Uh, Low thrust weight ratio, yeah, that'd be a thing, but uh, uh, they were stacked in line like that. 
That is one tall rocket. Okay, I guess we can just go ahead. It looks like we've got uh, our good periapsis still. Every time a ship of yours crosses into Moon SY, it registers 69.5 yeah, G for a split second. No, I haven't seen that. The whole ship and screen shakes, but no uh, visible or reported damage. Where they would tear, tear apart? Well, I would too, yeah. Um, hmm. Yep, definitely have not seen that. And I hope I never will. <laughs> but uh, I hope it's something Squad will fix. <laughs> I don't know. You have seen that too, Mitko. Okay. Oh boy. I haven't said anything too big across SOIs. I mean, of course, you see me doing stuff here. Uh, it, it wasn't like that in point nine zero. I know that. I've done plenty of stuff in point nine zero without anything like that happening. So, must be something new. No, no, no. Come on. Sometimes I put it down one notch in time warp and it goes down four. All on its own. We've got a Tylo encounter coming in. That we sort of don't need. I'd rather have a Leif encounter coming in. Okay, well that'll get us approximately to where we need to be. I think we'll have to pass Tylo in order to really fine tune it. But let's do this. We've got to keep Sidri safe is a major thing. But we also don't want him being flung out, flung out into interplanetary space. This is a delicate balance. Okay, uh, what do I think about Mars One Project? Not, not much by way of details. <laughs> I, I'm a detail sort of guy uh, when it comes to going to Mars. Uh, I, I think, uh, I think we need much more details before I... Anything about details is sketchy as far as I'm concerned. Okay, we are in Tylo Sphere Influence. And everybody should be telling me to to do science, right? We need to do science. We've got a Kerbal. We haven't done science. Okay, I've, I've got the got it open in a different tab so I can take a look at that later on. But yeah, so first uh, let's do a crew report and let's transmit this crew report. Hi over Tylo. And getting ready to shift him if necessary. EVA, Sidri. Uh, Okay, seems pretty snug on there. EVA report. And keep data aboard. Oh, he, he let go. Come on. Okay, come on. Not, he, oh, he didn't let go. He just shifted. Board. Alright, and we can review that and transmit. Okay, what else? Can we do anything else here? I don't think so. We probably did high over Tylo for everything else. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no seismometer, obviously. So, okay. That is all done. We aren't going to be low over Tylo, so we just need to get through Tylo's sphere of influence and then fine-tune the dual periapsis. I'm going to go 194. On this. We have some fuel, so we have some Delta V to slow down further. We just don't want anything to happen to poor little Sidri. And he's got a very curious vehicle here. We've got these always open solar panels for us. But it looks like the cabin is outstripping their ability to recharge. Okay, they're okay now. Now, will this flip around? Will this do something crazy? We've got... Yeah, I know, I'm thinking about that, Mitko. It's a lifting body. So, should I go nose first and hope for the best? Or, I mean... What, what should I do? <laughs> I don't want it to be a lifting body. I want my numbers to work out. Because of its lifting body, we might not get captured by Jewel. It might just float above the atmosphere and 
we might end up not slowing down. There won't be enough drag. Nose first gonna flip. I don't know where the center. See, here's the problem. You might think, oh, it's gonna flip, but this is an almost empty tank. There's a lot of fuel up here. And then these are heavy modules as well. I mean, moderately heavy. Um, I, I don't. This is two tons, I know. This is. I think it's about two tons. We've got mob propellant up here. We've got a pretty full cargo bay with a ton of fuel there. That's probably two tons. That's probably six tons up there. Um, then we've got another. 4.5 tons here. So that's 10 tons and a half. And then uh, the coupler. This is 2 tons dry. Um, maybe 2.5, let's say. And this is 2.5, uh, let's say. 5 tons here. So the center mass should be around here. Camera rotates around the sea. Oh, you're right. Yeah, so it's around there. That's something I should remember quite more often. No, the reason I don't... I know why I don't remember it. I do this. Uh-oh, it's not rotating around the COM. <laughs> no, I, I, I do this a lot for uh, cinematic stuff. Station landing on Julie incoming. Okay, well, it's saying we're under acceleration now. Even though the atmosphere doesn't start for a while. Oh, uh, back to the map it gets centered? Yeah, I, I guess so. Let's let's test it out. Yeah, yeah, it does. Didn't even think about that before, so thanks for mentioning it, Screech. Uh, double click middle mouse button to reset to COM. Oh, that's, that's another one. Well, let's see, hold on. Up, oh, yep, that works. Sorry, I did the physics way. I didn't know about these uh, center of mass and stuff, such. I mean, uh, what you got? The camera rotating around center of mass. I just tried to use math. Forgive me. Okay, anyway, one minute and eight seconds to go. We haven't actually hit the atmosphere yet. I can always move the fuel to the bottom. Yeah, but should I? Should I move the fuel to the bottom? I don't know. We're going tail first. Let's let's go to physical time warp a bit. And hope it doesn't explode, right. Oh, here we go. Yeah, not saying I should. We're going up already. Well, uh, it looks like we're curving all right. Yep, we, we've got into capture. 194 wasn't too bad. You don't want to be resourceful for any kind of failure here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, our inclinations. Well, th that part I couldn't correct the way where I was. Well, it, it looks scary very briefly, but actually, uh, we're out, and Sidri is. Sidri's been quite safe. We only had very brief flames, and we're in a very high orbit around Jewel. Let's set ballast target. We have to actually put ourselves into dual orbit. We're not in dual orbit right now. But I think we can drop our thing, our apolapsis a little bit more. While we can, might as well. Actually, well, I don't want to correct inclination from here. Okay, I'll leave it there. Um, now we should get into a more permanent orbit around Jewel before proceeding with Val. And this is going to take a while because we have to get past a thousand kilometers for some reason. I don't know why we're under acceleration all the way up to a thousand kilometers, but well, that's how it is.